<laughs> Hello there once again, my fine men who tune into this small little gameplay commentary thing in Majiga. I'm so glad you made it. This week, five interesting things have happened to me that I just need to point out. One being that this whole project of making videos and commentating about PvK is really making me excited. I like doing this and it's fun to try to quote unquote educate others. The second thing being that it's been snowing outside and I don't think you think that this is a really important thing for me but I mean I, yeah I know I live in Sweden it's a northern country it's very cold up here pretty much all year around but no, actually, even like, for example, last year there was no there was snow up until Christmas Eve, but at Christmas Eve it was no snow. Everything had melted away, and it stayed like that until New Year's Eve. And as soon as that day ended, it was a blizzard of snow again. As in, Mother Nature had decided that she wanted to troll with us personally by having no snow on the two holidays, the two most important holidays of the year, where you need to have snow to get into the mood. And that was a little bit of a bummer for me, but now that it's snowing, it's like really snowing, I'm like, wow, this might be of actually moody Christmas at all, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, the uh, third thing is that um, I figured out how my piano works in a more efficient way. Like, I could record, I knew how to record a song I played on my own with five different instruments, like you can record one track at once. So I recorded my uh, myself playing the uh, Paris Vargas Nights 2 theme with five dif different instruments and I was like I felt very satisfied for that personal achievement. Now the fourth interesting thing is that my mother is away for the weekend. Woo! Now we can party all my time in my room and I just want to party all day long and I don't know do 20 year old man stuff. I don't know. Play more PvK. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I am now home alone from like, the, I have the entire morning, the entire day for myself all the way down to like 6pm every day when my dad comes home. And that's the fun thing, when my dad and I are home alone, the only time we see each other is at dinner time. He makes something to eat, calls me up, we eat for like 5 minutes and we're like, bye, see you until tomorrow. And yeah, we, we, yeah. that's our social interactions. And uh, the fifth thing is that, to celebrate this thing with my mother being away, I uh, bought one of those pizzas. Not at the pizzeria, but <laughs> those that you have to, like, uh, heat up in the oven. So I, I, they were cheaper, so I thought, why not? They don't even taste that bad. So I get it back home and I think, I want some more stuff on this. I put some cheese on it and then some garlic. And then when I get it out of the oven again, I think, huh. Apparently, when garlic is heated in the oven, it turns really, really green. I don't know why, but this for some reason really caught my eye. I just thought, this is cool, I didn't know about this, and wow, that's really, really awesome. How does this work? But enough of that. Time to get on the topic. I want to talk about the Heavy Knights. The Knights, personal, tank, moving... He swings heavy swords that weigh freaking tons and has insane reaches if you have a bun above 180 ping. We all know that. He is the walking shield of the Knights team. And you can't really describe that anymore. His so you all really know what the hell a tank class is. It's a, it's a class that has a lot of health, a lot of armor, and he can dish out a lot of damage, but not that fast. He makes up for his strength in his mobility and versatility. So as you may know, the Heavy Knight, he has only this big claymore, a two-handed sword that swings slowly but deals a lot of damage. So if you miss, you will take a few hits, but that's okay because you're designed to take a lot of damage. And when you actually hit someone else, they will know that they are more punished for being hit than you. The Heavy Knight also has this uh, this shield that he can use to primarily block projectiles. But with shield you can do this little fun bash attack. If you right click, if you hold right click you will hold up the, the shield in front of your face and you will block all damage. Well, aside from kegs or 
enemy special attacks. And if you right, if you left click whilst you hold this shield up in front of your face, you will do perform this bash attack, and that will stun your enemy very briefly. And at this time, if you bash and then press left click again, you will do a bash and hit combo. Which can be very nice, because if you have an enemy that charges over forwards towards you, you can just jump in, do a quick bash, and he will be interrupted. It will interrupt his um, his attack swing, and then you can perform a quick counter-attack after that. And that, is a very, that can be very life-saving most of the time. But as I said, it's primarily a weapon used to, do to uh, deflect projectiles. If you have... Because, you know, as a slow tank, you're very slow. You cannot move fast at all. I mean, the t two tanks in the game are the most slowest. Like, every other class can outrun them. And that puts them in a very big disadvantage. I mean, if I play, example, Huskarl or Heaven Knight, you cannot cat up, catch up to sharpshooters or archers, you just can't catch up to them. So you need to compensate a lot by taking the environment into play here and uh, maneuvering yourself and placing yourself in places where you can engage a ranged class a lot easier. For example, around a corner, if he doesn't know you're there, you can just wait there with a the swing ready and as soon as he comes around the corner, have a swing. You might not be able to kill him, you might not be able to catch down to him, I mean catch up to him after he runs away, but you will still have land a very good hit on him and since you're a tank you will ha you'll probably have taken his health down to at least 50%. So to just recap it really quickly, the Heavenite, very slow, very high damage output and he can take a lot of damage. And that applies to any tank. So, the night team, as you can probably imagine, is very role-specific. If you look at the Vikings, for example, all three classes, all of them have a strong melee weapon. Two of them have a secondary range weapon they can use in some situations. But they're all, like, bluntly very all-round, all three of them. But the night team, they are very role-reliant. They if they have if you have one heaven knight he has very clear restrictions if you have one archer he has very clear restrictions and strengths too so if you put those two classes together they become they can become a potentially extremely lethal team or in this team case scenario where i'm fighting a lot of many heaven knights as a skirmisher it's very lethal because if i'm not careful they just killed me instantly. So another important thing is that if you know that if you're a heavy knight, people will know that you are a class that really dominates the close range. If they do a mistake, they will take heavy punishment if you land your sword correctly in their faces. So that means that the other team will try to go for your archer teammates instead because archers are a little bit easier to kill if you get up close and personal with them. He needs to be a guard. The archers relies on the heavy knights to give them the proper protection they need. So if you're this knight team, the heavy knights protect the archers, the archers kill people until they run out of arrows. You really only step in to do your own damage when the archers are being threatened. So that's a good way to coordinate with your team and provide a nice cover teamwork for each other if you stick together and try to really make yourself an efficient team. Is in, is in this example I'm playing on Grave Danger with uh, Sonashum, one of my uh, fine gentleman buddies. I owe my soul to him, I am dedicated to his service. But. You can say that, sure, we're winning a lot because we're de we're devs and testers. We know really what we need to do instinctively. That's really <laughs> how you find teamwork in PvK nowadays. That is, if you have a stack team full of experienced people who instinctively know what to do. But regardless, it's just an example. If you do a well teamwork, you will succeed a lot. And knights are very good at teamworking and relying on each other. So, like I said, the Heaven Knight protect archer, archers kill people. And this means, since people want to go for the archers a lot more, you can use the archer as a bait 
uh, not saying that you to use him as a meat shield because the archers are very very capable assets to your team to kill people if the enemy just sees an archer he will want to try to go for him if he has an opportunity and if he doesn't see you around like if you're just around the corner he will be sorry for messing with your archer and he will probably try to think better next time he tries to approach your archer because your archer is your friend your dear buddy love him and he will love you back so to recap really quickly as a heaven knight you have a lot less mobility and versatility as the other classes when, when that you make up for your high you pack a ton of punch and you can take a lot of punishment so in order to comp uh, compensate your slow speed you need to like i said earlier try to use the the environment and uh, like all the covers the structures and such and be a little bit of a monkey man jump around to catch up to your enemies if people are faster than you try to cut corners and uh, generally be cl close with your team if you have to be alone you don't need to worry much about it your only danger will be other range classes because if you face multiple melee enemies at once that's not a big of a deal because a heavy knight can do fairly well against more opponents than one so being in that is not that big of a deal you have so much health you can spare all that health it's not, it's okay the archers have a lot more to worry about if he's being outnumbered and that's what he needs you for so the last thing I want to mention is the Heavy Knight special attack. If you have your claymore in your hand and you press F, you will perform a 360 degree special attack which is he will swing his sword in a full circle around himself which will cause an area of effect damage around you. And if you're being outnumbered, that's where you would love to use it. So if you were seen in a soon example there, I used it and it killed my enemies very quickly. If you, for example, use it on a captain who has full health, it will take him down to 50% health and armor. And if he don't, didn't have any armor, you will probably take him down to at least 90% or even kill him instantly. And it's a little bit of a tricky special to use because you need to go up in close personal to use it. And people will, most of the time, they will be able to tell if you have a special or not, depending on how you move. Uh, and that is, if you just run up to them blindly and not doing anything else, they will know. He, you have a special and he's just trying to position himself right and time it when I'm about to attack him and then he will use the special. You can tell it by that. So to confuse people a little bit, hold up your sword, like pretend you're about to hit him com like you would hit him normally. And then when he comes at you, you cancel your attack and then press F. You might take a hit, but you will land in your special most of the time. Or you can just hide behind a corner and if he chases you, then you use it. But it's a hell of a lot good way, a nice special to clear the breathing room around you and cause a little bit of panic. Because when people get caught in that, they will be sorry. They become very angry and call you noob and such for using special attacks. But that's okay, it's about winning. You should use a little bit of whatever means you want to win. That should cover the Heaven Knights part in Pirates, Vikings and Knights. Uh, I'm sorry if I forgot to add anything important, but I hope this will help you more than you knew earlier. So I will bid you farewell and hopefully bring you more videos in the future. Farewell. <laughs> Dead rats. 